Hi, Charles is a book sage here. It is July 10th, 2020, and this is my Friday Reads. When I set my reading goals for 2020 at the beginning of the year, um, I knew that uh, one of the things that I really wouldn't be able to do this year is participate in read-alongs or readathons um, with three like massive 16 plus book sci-fi fantasy series I'd be reading that I wouldn't really have much time to like do a whole read-along or readathon. Um, but I knew that um, at some point I would kind of like dip a toe into one here or there um, in the form of maybe just reading one book that pertains to a readathon or read-along just to kind of because show support and participate and things like that. And Katie of Books and Things, who if you're somehow following me and not her, um, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Uh, I will link her channel down below. Um, she's one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best booktubers on this platform. Uh, very literary and classic uh, literature is her main uh, focus. And like every October she does a Victober where it's all Victorian literature and July she does Jane Austen July. And Jane Austen is, you know, considered one of the literary giants. I've never read any of her works, but she's always been on the, that list of works you'll get to someday. And I've always known that Sense and Sensibility would be the first book of hers that I would read. Uh, I'm familiar with her stories just from watching all the movies. And movie-wise, Sense and Sensibility has been the one I've enjoyed the most. And I remember being in Barnes & Noble like years ago, and you know how they have those hardcover volumes where it's like multiple novels from an author. And they had one from Jane Austen there on the desk. And I remember opening it up and reading like the first two paragraphs of Sense and Sensibility and instantly clicked with her writing style. So I've always known that that's the one I'm going to read. And just a couple of days ago, spur of the moment, I was on Goodreads. I had a notification from the group and I popped in there and then I was like, you know what? What the hell? went and bought Sense and Sensibility for my Kindle and for Audible. And I dove right into it, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it just as much as I suspected I would. So my main reading priority for today is to finish Sense and Sensibility. Um, June was just a, I guess, horrible reading month for me compared to the first five months of the year. Um, I didn't read any of the three main series that I'm working through my way through this year. Uh, but I did read a couple of interesting things. But this isn't a June wrap-up or anything. Um, but now that it's July and we're in the second half of the year, uh, it's time for me to add a fourth, <laughs> yes, a fourth massive series that's at least 16 books long to my reading workload. And that is the Dresden Files. Now, Dresden Files is a series that, again, it's been on my radar, it's been there. My Uncle Barry, this is one of his favorite um, literary works. It's one of his favorite stories is Dresden. And it's always very high on his recommended list uh, for anyone he recommends books to. And it's something that I knew I wanted to read so he and I could, you know, discuss the series. Um, but it was always, you know, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Well, my uncle passed away over a year ago, so I never got to actually dive in and converse with him about this series. And unfortunately, since he didn't get to, obviously, finish reading the series, because it's, I think the author is working on the last couple of books this year. But at the beginning of the year, and it's been on my mind to somehow fit that in. And then I've seen some other people reading and working their way through the series. And it's just like, you know what? Um, I can't put it off any longer. Even though I've got Malazan, Vorkosikin, and Harrington, I'm adding Dresden as well. So once I finish um, Sense and Sensibility, I'm going to dive into Stormfront the first of the Dresden books. 
Now, the only thing I know about Dresden is he's, I guess, a wizard, a sorcerer, something like that, living in modern day. And I don't know if he sort of passes himself off as a detective, not really sure. I remember there was a short-lived TV series and I, that I did watch and I did enjoy. The only thing I remember about it, though, is he had, I think, I think a talking skull, but I'm not sure. I don't really remember the plot at all. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. So Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility, finishing that up, and then starting Dresden Files. And I really do need to get back to, um, I'm in the middle of, we're still early on in, I think, book six of the Honor Harrington series. So I, I'm reading that one too. Um, but I'm behind again in that schedule. But it's not a ironclad, I must do this schedule. But I really want to try to get as much of those series done this year as possible because of what I have lined up for next year. But anyway, just a quick little touch base, Friday reads, see how you're doing. Get some English breakfast tea this morning. I am actually running low <laughs> on some of my tea. I'm almost out of this. I'm out of my Scottish breakfast tea. Um, I just restocked my Irish breakfast. But yeah, I need to get some more Scottish and English breakfast teas. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So, Sense and Sensibility and Stormfront. And I think, um, and who knows what else, I might just decide to pop in and read. I've been buying books like crazy, I think. I'm now up to maybe 32, 33 books bought in the last like month or so. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I am Charles at Bookstage. Happy reading.